Hello, we are Healer Check, your trusted first line of defense to help stop fraud and on board with confidence. Welcome to our video series, AMLA Compliance 101, where we study Bank Negara Malaysia's customer due diligence guideline for AMLA Compliance, specifically for DNFVPs, so you don't have to. In this video, we will be discussing about what is customer due diligence for DNFVPs. Let's get started. What exactly is customer due diligence, or CDD for short? Customer due diligence, or CDD, is a vital process used by businesses to verify the identity of their customers and understand the nature of their financial transactions. But why do they do that? The primary aim is to prevent money laundering, terrorist financing, and other financial crimes. So this involves collecting and verifying essential customer information, such as their identity, address, and the purpose behind their financial activities. By doing CDD, businesses ensure they are dealing with legitimate individuals or entities while also complying with legal and regulatory requirements. Okay, so when exactly must companies perform CDD? So the bottom line is, all reporting institutions must perform CDD during these four circumstances. Number one is when establishing business relationship. Number two is when conducting transactions that meet specific criteria as outlined by BNM under paragraph 14F in this guideline. We will be sharing a link to this guideline in the description. Number three, companies should be doing CDD when suspecting money laundering or terrorism financing, regardless of transaction size. And number four, when doubting the accuracy of previously obtained information. So to perform CDD, you need to collect several information from the person that you are onboarding. And here are the information that you have to collect. Their full name, their NRIC or passport number, their address, date of birth, nationality, occupation, employer or self-employment detail, contact number, and purpose of transaction. According to Bank Negara Malaysia, you need to screen against this list. Yes, we know. There are a lot of lists, right? But with HeloCheck's risk check, in only one single check, you have successfully screened against all these required checklists by BNM. Yes, you heard that right, and let me repeat that again. HeloCheck's risk check covers all the required checklists by BNM all in just one check. So you get to simplify your customer due diligence process in a fast, easy, and very reliable way. HaloCheck's risk check will only take seconds to verify and screen your customers. It can be done anywhere, anytime, and it is very reliable because it complies with all Bank Negara Malaysia AML CFT requirements. So CDD isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing process and here's why. Ongoing due diligence is necessary for maintaining business relationships with customers. This involves scrutinizing transactions to ensure they are consistent with customer profiles and the source of funds. And most importantly, keeping CDD information up to date is especially important for high-risk customers. So what happens if a reporting institution cannot meet CDD requirements? Let's find out. If a reporting institution cannot meet CDD requirements, they cannot open an account, start business relations, or perform transactions for potential customers. In such cases, they should consider filing a suspicious transaction report. And what happens if you don't comply? Will you get punished? The answer is yes. In our previous video, we have explained in details what are the punishments for non-compliance. So if you haven't watched it yet, you may check it out now. And that wraps up our informative video on customer due diligence for registered estate agents. We hope you found this information valuable. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for watching.